In my C programming series, I always talk about um, the ASCII table when dealing with characters. But in JavaScript, that doesn't really happen. That's because it's a bit more hidden behind the scenes, um, the ASCII table or the actual UTF-16 table. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can convert a UTF-16 value or ASCII value into a character and back. So let's start simple. We have here a string, just a simple string, A, B, C, D. And I want the ASCII code or the UTF-16 code, both are the same for these types of characters. I want uh, the ASCII code of the first uh, character in this string. So how do we do this? Well, first things first, we can get the character, right? We can say str dot char at, right? And we can say here zero, simple enough. And if I try to console log this, we should actually get A, so it makes sense, cool. Now, using a similar method, what you can do is get this, uh, the code of that character, the Unicode value of this character instead of just the character itself. We can say here, uh, char code at, instead of char at, index zero. And that's going to return not just the character A, but the ASCII or the Unicode value of that. Right. If I try to run this now, you'll notice I get 65. That's the correct answer for it. Now, how do you um, go from this to this from this 65? How do you go backwards? Well, let's start with just a simple number. Let's say here, let num equals this 65. What you can do is call a function from the string class called string dot from char code, and this guy is going to convert back whatever you pass in uh, as the ASCII or the Unicode value in here. So if I have here 65, which is our number, and let's also console log this, you'll notice that I'm gonna get back A. So as you'll notice, this way really works nicely because all it takes in is just a number or any number of numbers that I can have here also 66, for example, it's going to uh, pass it in as well onto the same string, that's gonna work. Uh, the idea is we just have to pass in the one number, but in the previous example, we had a, a whole string and we had to call a function on the string. As it turns out, that's the only way to do it. So if you want to, for example, get the ASCII value of the character A, what you have to do is say here, let's, let's call this str, and you're gonna have to do str dot, again, char code at zero, right? And what you can do is instead of having this a variable, just remove this whole thing and just say the character A itself. And that's going to work. It's very simple and you can sort of understand what it does. It's decently readable, right? So now if I try to console log this little guy, you'll notice I get 65. So that's the correct answer. So this is how you should uh, turn numbers that represent the ASCII values of certain characters into characters and backwards. I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time. Take care. Bye.